Is that a bird? No, it's a plane. Nah. No nah, man, it's Captain Kurt. Oh wait, do you see Captain Kurt? You're gonna be like, fuck. And I get down on my knees and thank God for giving me the day. Promise it won't be a waste, no. Ain't God sick of being fake. God is giving me a way. Consequence of being grateful. Her bed, it was deep in my soul. Now it's hard to feel sad when I'm reaching my goals. And I... You two, what's good? It's your boy Captain Kurt. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do so right now. Hit that like button, leave a comment, show you boys some love. So uh, we got a new artist to the channel, man, uh, Flawedzilla, a.k.a. Flawed TV. And uh, I've been following this dude for a while, about seven months, and uh, I've watched him kind of evolve as, a, as an artist. Uh, he's a reaction channel, and I heard him talk about how he's about to get into some music. He uh, he definitely has the ability to rap, so he's, he's going to take the jump and, and dive right into this music. So... I'm excited to see what he's got going on. Um, Flawed is a great person. Um, I've watched him grow. I know when I found him, he was a pretty big YouTube channel, but he's growing as an individual. I've learned a lot from Flawed. Uh, I've learned uh, how to handle situations that uh, I might have handled differently in the past. So, uh, man, I appreciate you, Flawed. Without further ado, I present to you Flawedzilla. Grateful. Let's go. And I get down on my knees and thank God for giving me the day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Promise it won't be a waste, no. Ain't God sick of being fake? God is giving me a way. Consequence of being grateful. Hey, man, this immediately gives me college dropout vibes. He said, man, I was sick of being fake. God has given me the faith. Like, I don't know if he's saying, like, I, I'm, I'll am i give credit where credit's due. Like, I'm tired of not giving credit where credit's due. Yo, this is dope, man. We're only 21 seconds in, and I'm loving this. And I get down on my knees and thank God for giving me the day. Promise it won't be a waste, no. Ain't God sick of being fake. God is giving me a way. Consequence of being grateful. Her bed, it was deep in my soul. Now it's hard to feel sad when I'm reaching my goals. Hey, he said her bad was deep in my soul, but it's hard to feel bad when I'm reaching my goals. Like, when you're doing good, man, positivity will drown out the negativity any day of the week. I love the message behind this so far. It's hard to feel sad when I'm reaching my goals. And I'll let you finish, wait, I'm gonna make them hear me say, I'm gonna hit the VMA show. Life is a blessing, I hated to wake up, I'm out of depression. Look at what faith does, learning my lesson. He said, learning my lesson, youth of the nasia. Like, I think he's saying, like, uh, it took fucking up and really stumbling to to truly figure this out. Like, it took some time, but your boys got it. And that was the youth of the nasia. Like, that I put down that evil person I used to be, and, and now this is the new me. I love the message flowing. Hey, don't my purpose, but no one is perfect. dog said growing my purpose but nobody's perfect like sometimes you're gonna do things that people don't agree with maybe you look back and say man i should have done it that way but at the end of the day we're all living life everybody makes mistakes man and as long as we're working to be a better person that's all that matters huh flawed you kill this bubba ashamed of my purpose but no one is perfect Looking for Jesus, you need to keep searching. It's a bit deep, but in sermons, even a serpent, Egypt and serpent. You know, I love that part right there because, because me, uh, I've never been one to, to go into the church. Uh, I feel like faith for me, it, it, it will go further if I understand it for who I am, not somebody else telling me what to understand. 
uh, it's great to just go to to get out of your own head sometimes, but uh, you have to understand what you want in life. You have to understand who you are as a person, or you could go sit in those uh, church pews day in and day out, and nothing's going to change. You have to change as a person. You have to accept responsibility for what you did in your life, and you have to fix those things, whether it be things you can fix, things you can't fix, you'll figure it out. Uh, I love the message, man, and I know watching Flawed and uh, Mises, uh, Mises grow as a channel, as uh, as a, you know, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, I think that they're a great team. I wonder if this is her on here. I wonder if she's the one singing, and Flawed just put some effects on it and made it sound a little different. This is pretty dope. You need to keep searching. It's a bit deeper than deacons and sermons. Even a serpent, Egypt and servants. Know when you seek just leave with discernment. See that the earth is evil and burning. People are hurting. He is returning. And I get down on my knees and thank God for giving me the day. He shows uh, on his thumbnail it's the earth burning. And uh, it's showing, man, we're all, everybody's going through something right now. We all need to work together. To put that fire out on earth and uh, to make it glow again, to make it enjoyable. Um, we all have our, we all play a part in, in making the world a better place. If you work on yourself and you, you better yourself as an individual, it will better, better the earth all the way around. And I think he uses uh, his faith in the Lord. And, and that's awesome, man. A lot of people don't, uh, they don't like to express their faith in the Lord. They don't like to uh, showcase it. Flaw definitely is. And he's doing it. At a, at a in a different way than I've seen he's actually speaking the word but also putting his personal experiences in it and I like that because a lot of times uh, you can listen to something and you don't feel connected to it I feel connected to this I like this man and I get down on my knees and thank God for giving me the day promise it won't be a waste no I like that. Let me run that back. Let me run that back. My goals, and I'll let you finish. Wait, I'm gonna make them hear me say, I'm the head of the VMA show. It feels like there's an agenda against Christians. No God raised the potential to transition. Told lies, hypnotize in both sides. Closed eyes, stare with that pendulum hand swinging. He said, they're telling lies from both sides. Like, they are manipulating everybody. And most of those people they're manipulating are watching the head of that pendulum just swing with their eyes closed. They don't even know what they're, what they're, uh, they're committing to and they're, and they're believing in. They're just following the herd. They are following other people. Like, follow yourself. Make something for yourself. Believe in yourself. Build your own legacy, man. Uh, don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what's trending. Don't worry about what's what's going on. Worry about your life. Worry about your situations and fix those things. Once you fix those things, the rest of the world will definitely flow better. I love the message behind this. Yo, this second verse goes hard. Feel like there's an agenda against Christians. No God raised the potential to transition. Told lies, hypnotizing both sides. Closed eyes, stare with that pendulum hand swinging. Remember when I was young and I was an atheist. Putting negative onto anything in my radius. Then he showed me his radiance at the time when I needed it. I was in a cell like... <laughs> oh boy, hey, I love that he put... Uh, and I'll say this, he put a little recovery verse in there. Like, I was that young guy as an atheist spreading hate everywhere, bro. And uh, when I decided that I was going to turn my life around and clean up and get sober, um, I found a strong relationship with God and or a higher power, however you want to word it. And uh, he showed me the greatness that I was. Like he allowed me to respect myself. He, he allowed me to, to let go and let God, man. And there's, you know, uh, I, I love that he put that in there because I think everybody... Uh, at one point walked a righteous line in their life. And then, uh, you know, bad circumstances lead you down a path that uh, 
that you don't want to go, but you go that way. And and the Lord guided guide you back, you know. And I think that that's important, man, for people to hear because I think people lose um, they lose hope. They really believe that they're at this all alone. And what I found is when I allowed my higher power to to come into my life and and I accepted them for what they were, I noticed that I wasn't alone. I noticed that there was definitely something helping me along the way. And I made my own success. I made my own failures, right? So the better I was as a person, the better my life would be. Uh, it didn't, it wasn't about doing, doing whatever you needed to do to get by. It was more about doing, doing the righteous thing, doing things that you knew five years down the road that you would still be okay with. And, uh, I love the message behind this, man. Pendulum hand swinging. Remember when I was young and I was an atheist, putting negative onto anything in my radius. Then he showed me his radiance at a time when I needed it. I was in a cell like advertising and media. Was Miss Rebel was fraternizing with deviants. I was living hell. I'm satisfied in obedience. Ooh. Lord knows you. I was living hell. I'm satisfied now. I'm satisfied in obedient. Like I was living hell. Like I was living in a hell, but I was also. A hellion like people didn't want to be around me now i'm satisfied with my life and i listen i do what i need to do as a man as a person as a human uh and it makes all the difference bro it really does it really does yo this second verse goes hard Media was Miss Rebel was fraternizing with deviants. I was living hell. I'm satisfied in obedience. Lord knows you giving the evil your soul. You ain't getting back in the kingdom. Not even foreclosed, fork row. The narrow path is the hardest while barely like I say, if you're stuck living in the hell of your soul, you'll never get back into the kingdom. Like if you're always so worried about the things that you've done wrong, rather than fixing those things, rather than uh repenting and, and speaking those out, like apologizing. You know, uh, you'll never get back into the kingdom. You'll never get back into that righteous feeling. It's all, it's about you at the end of the day. Nobody holds the key of, of success other than yourself. In foreclosed fourth row, the narrow path is the hardest while Beverly like an error mid error attacking the target. We will be cleansed. He's repeatedly sent signs. Need to repent. We've been seeing the end times. And I get down on my knees. He said, we need to repent. We've been seeing the end times. Like, I don't know if he means that as a group, as like just the earth. Like we all need to check ourselves. We've been looking at the end times. Or if that's an individual statement, because I know I felt that way. I've seen it's this time for this to stop, but I didn't do anything to stop it. I just kept doing the same thing. And I thought, oh, I got bad luck. No, I needed to repent and I needed to figure out what I was doing wrong. I needed to let go of all that crap and start doing the right thing. And maybe it didn't happen overnight. Maybe it didn't happen right away. But eventually what happens is, is you push all that bad out. And the only thing left is good. As long as you're being good. I love this, man. Today, promise it won't be a waste, no. Ain't God sick of being fake? God is giving me a way. Consequence of being grateful. Her bed, it was deep in my soul. Now it's hard to feel sad when I'm reaching my goals. And I'll let you finish. Wait, I'ma make them hear me say, I'm the at the VMA show. It does sound like a female. I really wonder if that's me. That was dope, man. That was Flawedzilla, aka Flawed TV, and the name of that song was Grateful. Um, he really did an amazing job on it. From being somebody like when I first started following him, he talked about that he was able to rap, and every now and then he would, uh, you know, he'd rap along to some reactions he was doing. He's doing an up church reaction. He's rapping along. The DJ let it play and shit get real if they click pause. Folks feel different. Along. Uh, Tom McDonald. Probably our last financial hope. Soon enough, the government will leave your bank account. And if he does, music lacking creativity. Yes. He has a lot of reactions, man. So it was like a hidden talent. Um, and when I heard he dropped the song, man, I uh, 
I should have checked this out sooner, um, but I've seen a lot of different reaction channels going around and checking it out. And I said, you know what, man, uh, I support independent artists. I support people that want to do good for themselves, people that are trying to better their lives and, uh, and doing it all alone. So I thought, man, how can I not react to this? So here it is. I appreciate you, Flawed. Uh, you're killing it, dog. Don't give up. Uh, and I appreciate all the advice on Rumble, man. I've, I've moved over there. I'm going to post this up on Rumble, so I hope you guys enjoy it uh, over there at Rumble. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And remember, be nice to one another. Shout out Captain Kurt because you know we got me started. Shout out my boy Scooter Baggins. Can he react? And Captain Kirk. Nothing ever do it, Captain Kirk. And he's still alive. Can he put in that work? And I got my own.